At the moment, I'm testing different AI solutions for creating content and I'm seeing what gives the best results in terms of ranking on Google. And at the moment, I'm testing Neuron Writer, which is an AI SEO platform that can help you create and optimize your content for SEO. So let's test it out together. So here we are in the Neuron Writer platform and it is very simple. We have our project here and then we can just dive in and start creating content. There are no extra tools or anything. So let's go into our project here and then make a new analysis right away. So for this article, I want to write about how you can plan your week. So my search phrase is how do I plan my week? The search engine is the United States and the language is English. So now let's start this process so we can start creating an article for this specific search phrase. So the first analysis is now done and it took around 40 seconds. So it was pretty fast. And what it has done so far is that it has pulled the competition on this specific search phrase where we can see the content score based on Neuron Writers algorithms. And then we can see the word length, we can see the page title and the URL. So here you can choose to either take all of them and then use the competitors to optimize your content or you can just take top 10. So for now I'll take top 10 and go to the next step. So now we are actually in the editor of Neuron Writer. We have on the left side where we write the article and then we have all of our analysis on the right side. So on the right side you can see that we have terms that they recommend we use and then we have terms in headers that we should use. Then we have ideas here where we can see some questions to answer. We can see the H1s from our competitors and the second headlines from our competitors. We can see results from YouTube if we want to generate YouTube ideas. And then we can see just a settings overview here of this specific article. But what we will start with doing is to create an article draft. And with an article draft, we're basically creating a structure of the article. So again, on the right side here, you can see we have headers and we have questions. To begin with, I want to add these specific headers. And these are actually headers from the competition. But for now, we will just go with this. So let me try and add some different headings right here. And then let's go to the section with the questions here, where I will also add some of these questions over here to my article layout. When we are here in the settings, we can also take a look at the meta tags where we can write the title, we can write the description. Again, we can get inspired from the competitors here. We also have assets as well where we can add new assets. And this is in this case images or what could be a source you want to use. And then we have guidelines here where we can write about the persona, tone of voice, the goal with the articles and our CTAs. But for now, I think this article layout is good, so I will copy it to the editor. So now you can see that we have the structure to the left of all of the different headers that I set in based on the structure we made. So what we can now do is that we can generate content. So when I click on generate content, it will now start generating a paragraph via AI. So here it has generated the first paragraph and it seems pretty good. It's not so long, but I will definitely use this text. What we can then do is that we can generate again for this specific section because it was not that long of a text we get. But see the thing here now is that I will say use text again, but here we get two texts which are very similar. And I want to be able to write extra content but without duplicating myself. And that is not possible right now. I can only generate content again. And even though the content is good, it's just not long enough. We really need it to be longer. So let's try and go to the next step here and again, generate some content. So it has its heading and it has that it needs to try and include these weekly plan and deadline. And then we have here our text. So one thing that Neuron Writer is doing very well is using these NLP keywords. So it is saying that for this specific section, we need to use these keywords in the section if possible, of course. And when we do it in this sense, then we will also see our content score basically grow all the way up because we start to use these keywords. Now I want to say that you shouldn't just plot in the keywords to use them. There needs to be a meaning behind why you use the keywords. The keywords are just there to help you understand what to write about. 
it's not for you to basically copy and paste. But you can see I've generated text three times now and our content score went from zero to 18 right now. And we can see that we need to be at least above 30 in our content score because between top one and top 10, there is a content score between 30 and 38. And if we want to just be in top 30, then we need to reach a content score of at least 21. Of course, it's not that simple. It, there are a lot of other different parts that plays a role, but this is just an indication for you to see how well your content is going. Let's try and generate some more content down here and see what we end up with. So one thing I noticed while I was generating content is that if I only have a heading and I want to generate content, then it's not possible. I have to write some words here that it needs to include in order for this to be able to generate content. When I test alternative to this, they do not need that. So that's just a small thing that hopefully they can tweak. Now, another thing when it is we generate content, then you can see we have two parameters here that we can twist and turn on. We can change the temperature of the content where the higher it is, the more unique the content is. But it also means that the result can be less predictable, which means that we can get results in east and west based on this. But let's try and set it up to 0.7. We can also change the quality of this specific generation, but it also means that it will come in at a higher cost. But let's say this one right now is actually at high quality. We can also set it at low quality and we have set it up to very hot here at 0.7. So let's try and add some keywords here that it needs to include. And then let's see what the output will present us with. So here it is actually giving me a great result. It is telling me very specifically what I need to do in order to plan a weekly workout. And it has different steps, which I know always works well in the different articles. Let's try and generate again to see if we get different content and we do. So here we get more of a text where it's not step by step, but it is still explaining how to plan your weekly workout. So let's use this text as well. So now we have generated text for almost all the different sections. We now have a content score of 23. We can continue to generate content or we can work and optimize the content based on the content terms. And then we can see the content score basically going up and down based on what it is we are writing. Again, we can also change the meta description and title over here. And when you're done, then you just save your changes here and then you can choose to export it to right now only HTML. What I usually do is that I copy and paste it over into WordPress where I'm writing the article. Another thing within the editor is of course up here we have an overview of what we have written from a structure point of view. We can see here how many words they recommend us writing and this is again based on the competition from this specific search phrase. Here we can see how easy it is to read our blog post as it is right now. But one thing I want to do before we move on is I want to generate some YouTube ideas. So right now we have an article that is telling me how I plan my week. But if I want to add up with a YouTube video, it would be great to see what the results are. And this is again based on AI. So let's see what the video ideas look like. So there are some great results. For instance, the first one, my realistic, super productive step-by-step -step weekly planning routine. And I also like this one down here, how to plan a productive week in less than 30 minutes. And these are actual YouTube videos. So I can click on it to see this video from YouTube. So these are pulled directly from YouTube in order for us to get inspired of how we can make our YouTube video. Now, when we are sitting in the content editor and you want to see more deep analysis, you can always click up here on the top analysis where we can see our keyword difficulty. We can see the search results and then we can see the competitors again, as we saw on the first step where we have the content score, we have their page title, and we have some more information about the different competitors. And that is just a quick overview. We can also see a competitor breakdown here where we can look at their Moss page authority, the Moss rank. We can see their content volume. We can see the quality of the content. And this is again based on the same parameters as when we sit and write in the editor. So this is again great and deep analysis that we can use. We can also see the structure of our different competitors here, where we can see the title, the description, all the headers that they're using. 
We can see the SERP layout and features, how they are ranking. We can see other keyword ideas that we might be able to target with this specific article, or maybe there are ideas here where we can create another article based on this. And if you're creating content, then you know sometimes it's difficult to come up with ideas. So this is one way to use to come up with ideas. We can also see related searches, which is pulled from Google to see what we need to target again. And the last thing is content terms. And this is the same as we saw in the editor. Here we can just see importance. We can see how often it's used in the title, in the headers, and how often they actually use it overall. And this is again compared to the competition on this specific search phrase. So the two tabs up here, they are dividing into the content editor and to the deep analysis. Because when we are in the content editor, then we also have some analysis over here we can work with, but it's not as deep as when you go in and really check thorough through your analysis here and get a lot of great insights. Now, when we look at the pricing of Neuron Writer, then they don't advertise with having neither a free trial nor a free plan. But when you sign up, then you actually sign up on their free plan. And on the free plan, then you have three analysis you can do and you can generate 1000 words. And this is each month. And it is not a lot, but it gives you an idea of how Neuron Writer is working. And then if you do wish to upgrade, then you need to be aware that the different plans varies on three different parameters. And that is the amount of projects you can have, which means websites, it's the amount of analysis you can do, and then it's the amount of AI words you can generate. And I have to say the amount of AI words you can generate on the different plans are really low, especially when we compare to the alternatives. But overall, then the pricing is in between the different alternatives which are out there at the moment. And the first alternative is ScaleNut. ScaleNut I have previously reviewed on the channel and ScaleNut, they are giving unlimited AI words to generate already in their medium plan. Furthermore, then they have a lot of extra AI tools and they give you a more thorough analysis of your content than Neuron Writer does. So ScaleNut, even though it is maybe a couple of dollars more expensive, then you do also just get a lot more functionality. You get templates, you get soon a content gap and so much more because Neuron Writer is a very simple product where you can create and optimize your content and that's about it. So if you're looking for a very simple platform, then go with Neuron Writer. The other alternative is Phrase.io. And personally, I've always been a big fan of phrase.io and they have recently released their WordPress plugin so we can sit in WordPress and basically write our content and optimize it. And phrase.io does also have an AI, but theirs is not built on top of GPT-3 directly. They have tried to go their own direction, which means that we get different type of content, but it is an add-on you need to add to your account. It is not part of your main subscription. So that is the only negative part about that. Other than that, then Phrase.io is a great software to optimize your content and to help you write the best possible article. Now taking a look at the roadmap of Neuron Writer, then it is a simple product. So we will see modules built on top of Neuron Writer. And the first module they're adding is AI article templates. This is templates that will direct your article in a specific direction. And this is templates that can change the sound of your article, can change the way it's set up, the structure and so much more. So this is a really interesting module to add. What we have seen from the alternatives is that it's actually the community who are creating these templates. So if I'm, for instance, creating an article template, then I can easily share it with the community so everyone can benefit from it. Then they are also adding small features like recommending how many images should you use in your article. And this is based on the competition on the specific search phrase. And I think they're going to take an average based on the competition. Furthermore, then they're adding more analysis data such as the structure. So when you type in a search phrase you want to optimize or create an article for, then it will pull all the competition on that specific search phrase. And then it will take a look at 
how the structure are on these different articles and then recommend a structure based on this. The last thing they're adding is another AI tool to help you generate the title and the description for your article. And the way I understand it is, of course, the title is the title, but by description, they mean the meta description. So this is great tools that we can use and it will just make it more easy and faster for us to create content, which is already SEO optimized. Now, what I really like about using NeuronWriter is that their UI and UX is easy to use and very modern. Furthermore, then the NLP recommendations are really great. The things I want them to improve is definitely some AI tools around creating an article. As we talked just before about is titles, descriptions, the structure, those types of tools are really missing. Then I'm missing integrations to WordPress. It would be really great if I could push my content from NeuronWriter to WordPress without I have to sit and copy and paste all the time. And the last thing is the AI words limits are just too low on the different pricing plans. They really need to increase that if not make them unlimited. Is NeuronWriter worth getting now? I will say that if you're looking for a simple assistant to help you write SEO optimized content and just overall optimize your content, then NeuronWriter could really be for you. But if you're looking for a tool where you get extra AI tools to generate structure, meta tags, titles, and so on, then you should look at one of the alternatives. And therefore, I want to give NeuronWriter three and a half stars. I've seen good results so far, but I'm really missing the extra AI features which will take it all the way through. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.